Want to learn some of the best breathing exercises for singers? In this video, Stephanie shares a few fun exercises that every beginner can use to develop breath support and control. So stay tuned and don't forget to click the link in the description box to access free online singing lessons. Hi, this is Stephanie from Take Lessons. The very important thing to do is learn how to control your breath and take a proper breath. So the first one is a problem because most people breathe incorrectly on a daily basis. We take very shallow inhales from our chest. That causes tension right where the vocal cords are and your neck and all the area that needs to be relaxed when singing. What's important about the breath is that it does support your sound. Even tone and pitch is created by that particular breath. Pitch is created by that little air stream that passes through your vocal cords and allows your vocal cords to vibrate. It also is important because you don't want to produce sound from the throat. Ah! It comes straight out and very damaging if you prolong the sound coming straight from your vocal cords. So you want to almost imagine like you're sighing it out. Ah, it's very low in your body and you should feel it almost very grounding and very relaxing. It shouldn't be strenuous or hard work. Energy, yes but not hard work and painful. So a lot of times you'll take a breath when you start singing like this. The tension is in my throat and in my neck and in my upper chest. So the way you should breathe, you can take your hands like you're about to eat a burger, wrap them around your back and your rib cage. You should feel your front of your hands on your belly. You should feel an expansion in your stomach, in your sides, and almost like your back's getting wider. So when you inhale, you should actually see no upward motion. You shouldn't be getting skinny. You actually should be, be expanding, almost taking up more space in the room and should feel very relaxed. Proper breathing will take some time to get used to. So be patient. It does take practice and it is a skill that you need to develop. So it's actually redeveloped because we normally should breathe that way. So take your hands, put them around your waist, Feel all that engagement around your entire core. Inhale almost like you're suctioning up the floor or into your hips or out into the room. So you can think of it as almost like a circle or a sphere around you. So inhale. See, no tension in the upper body. And actually I'm taking in a lot more air than I did before. So learn to breathe properly because it is important. One important aspect about breath management are some muscles in between your rib cage called intercostal muscles. So you take your hands again, wrap them around your rib cage, take a breath like you got surprised, and collapse. Do it again, and collapse slowly. That expansion you can control. So you wanna keep those muscles tight. When I did the 360 breath, I expanded correctly, but I'm going to manipulate that collapse. So as, as I'm talking, I'm actually letting it collapse slowly. So an exercise that you can do is also a hissing exercise. You should last 35 to 45 seconds. If you are collapsing too soon, a lot of the times people release, especially at the beginning of their phrases, too much air. So they will release that little collapse right at the start. So take a breath, control that expansion. Imagine like you're almost releasing a string. Keep controlling it. You should last that amount of air. If you don't, then practice that control. A good strengthening exercise for your diaphragm is learning to pant like a dog. All right, so do you wanna take your hand, find your belly button, Find that last rib cage bone on your stomach, place your hand right there in the middle, and you should feel some type of push out. A lot of times people will say that you should feel your abdominal muscles engaged. You want to actually relax your abdominal muscles. So I'll turn it aside. I can push out my abdominal muscles without actually releasing air. What you want to do to engage your diaphragm is actually release your air. So keeping your air in will cause tension and actually will just 
you'll actually produce the sound straight from your vocal cords the same way if you wouldn't have taken the breath. So make sure they almost feel like you're sighing out a phrase. Uh, you should feel a downward push of air and a relaxed motion of an outward push. So panting like a dog, you should feel your diaphragm almost push out violently. So you can start slow, start speeding it up. You should feel almost your back engagement in the muscles, your torso, your stomach, everything is engaged, your entire body. But the breath is what's pushing out that diaphragm, not your abdominal muscles. All right, another exercise you can do with that same panting is produce sound with the panting. So start slowly. You're almost laughing on the note. So make sure it's not coming out from your throat and going ah 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 a lot of times they'll go ah, 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 and you'll think that you're engaging that because the sound sounds that way but it feels straight in your throat so make sure you're feeling that power come from your diaphragm another strengthening exercise you can do is do scales on panting so ha 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 so you can speed them up you can take the tone that you're struggling in on your song and produce it in that kind of laughy sort of manner. So make sure you use an H to drop down the H into your stomach. You should feel the air push down your diaphragm. If this tone isn't controlled and powerful, that means you're not engaging your diaphragm. So any note that you're struggling with, see if you can Test it and make sure that it's coming from your diaphragm. Hey there, thanks for watching. Which of these breathing exercises helps you the most? Leave a comment and let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with more helpful singing tutorials, just like this one.